welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do a review on a hair dye that I just used. I recently had went from that really bright red color back to blonde and I did a video on that but it was like my, my Mac wouldn't accept the video, like one of the half of it. So I put on my PC, so now I have like pieces on both and I think I'm just gonna have to have remake that video because I really did like it. It was a good video and um and it was like really I thought I I had a lot of information about how you can go from a really dark color down to a light color like mine. Um it's hard in different lighting to see, but it is very, very, very light. It's a nice like light blonde. Um the underneath is still a little bit darker, not too too much, but you could see it's yeah it's definitely darker than the top some pieces like look white um it doesn't match my extensions anymore that's the only thing I'm like upset about is it's definitely I'm gonna try to tone my extensions these are my extensions and these are the ones that kinda have like the mix of the um the kinda like the darker blonde that's on the goldeny side which kind of goes like under here. I did try to like lighten this a little bit with some hair dye. Um, I didn't keep it on very long because I didn't want to lighten it too much. I was kind of more like trying to tone it because it was an ash blonde. But um, so for like this part here when you mix like all this together it matches really well. But I feel like once you get up here it doesn't. My hair just seems a lot more ashier. This is like this blonde that's in here, the lighter blonde is much brighter than my hair so I don't know if like once you know I wash this more if um, some of that ashiness will lighten up I don't know and my roots are still kind of like golden because oops, I didn't um, do my roots in the beginning I didn't do my roots when I was doing all of my hair because I was planning on doing the ombre look but I decided not to I decided just to go back to like my original blonde and just leave my hair alone so anyways, I had finally gotten it to a really nice blonde, but it was still like really golden-y and um, I didn't want to put any more bleach on my hair. I don't want to keep like over processing my hair. I noticed my ends are really dry and I could use a haircut. So I decided to use this color here and this is the Excellence Cream by L'Oreal, the super blonde and it has the pro carotene in it, which I absolutely love. I've used this before. Probably like a couple years ago I used to use this and um, I just love how it works. It gives you a conditioner, like a pre-conditioner to put in your hair before you dye it to help protect your hair from damage. Um, the other thing I like about it is box dyes never tell you what volume of developer you're getting and this tells you on it that it is 30 developer. So just so you know, this is a high lift color. And it is meant for blondes, like they recommend that you don't use this if you're no darker than a, um, a dark blonde. My natural hair color is probably like a light brown, I'd say. I don't even know anymore, but I'm gonna like assume that my hair is like a light brown. And if you could see my roots, they lightened up really, really well, but it's still kind of golden-y. And that's because I had did the underneath of my head first and I only put it through up here for maybe like 10 minutes or so because I didn't really want to lighten this. This part of my hair didn't need to be like lightened as much as this did. This was more like toning and so it started to lighten my roots like immediately within minutes. Um, I have a picture I'll show you like within minutes how fast my roots started lightening. So if I would have left this on my roots for the recommended time, which is like 30 minutes, my roots would have been like super, super blonde. I think I would have gotten exactly what I wanted with this. Um, so I highly recommend this if you are in the blonde family already. If you are a dark blonde or lighter, this will get you the color on the box. Like I swear it will get you the color on the box. And it's a cream, and when you, and I think too because the conditioning stuff that you put in your hair before, when you wash this out, like it feels like you're washing conditioner out of your hair, like when you're rinsing it out. It was like, my hair felt so good after I used this. I was like so surprised how well it left my hair like so nice and um, I got no damage from it and 
I definitely, definitely want to try this again. I do have, um, I recently bought a big jar of my bleach for the, you know, like the normal way that I always do my hair. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do next time my roots come in, if I'm just going to try this again or if I'm going to try the bleach. It depends on the condition of my hair, how I'm like feeling about it. I'm going to try to let my roots go for a little bit and you know give my hair a rest but I definitely do think I need the bleach for some spots because I have especially in the back there's still some spots that need to be like really lifted up a lot more because I kept switching my hair color so, um, I am going to redo a bleaching video but for right now I really wanted to show you how much I loved this and I just think that it is absolutely like perfect if you already have kind of light hair. Um, I know a lot of people that have like that are already in the blonde family like use bleach to lighten their hair and I don't know why they do that because you don't need bleach to lighten your hair. A 30 volume with a hair dye will get you there perfectly fine. Um, so and this stuff is like so ashy that like you don't even need a toner like my hair came out like perfect like I am so happy with my hair right now it's kind of like a mess I straightened my hair yesterday and I was going to kind of like re-straighten and style it but it's raining today and it's really yucky out so I don't know what I'm doing with my hair right now I'm probably gonna I don't know end up maybe like I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I hate when like I already took a shower and I like left my hair up and I wish I would have just like washed it because then I could just wear it curly. But um, I don't know, maybe I'll just like re straighten it and just have to use an umbrella tonight because we're going out. So I highly recommend this and I just wanted to let you know that I absolutely love it. And um, this was the last step to get my hair exactly where I wanted it to be. I think eventually. Um, I don't know. I was thinking eventually maybe get into like platinum, but I really love the color that it's at right now. So I'm leaving it alone and that is that. And I might try this like on my extensions maybe so I could try to get them to look more like my hair color so I can wear them because not that I wear my extensions very often, but I like to have extensions my hair color so if I do want to grab it that I can just, you know, have them. So yeah, this is it. You can get this at any drugstore, and it shows you, like, here, the different, like, my underneath was definitely, like, this, but, um, a little more orange, on the orange side, and it didn't get to this, it probably got more to, like, here or something, but, um, that's because it was, like, really orangey because of the red, and my hair was, like, so dark under there. So, and I always have a hard time, like, lightening the underneath. I always feel like the underneath is always darker than the top, but I, like, I absolutely love it because it looks really natural how it's, like, a natural, like, blonde color, and it's not, like, fake and stuff. Like, when I first had the blonde, went back to blondes, and I really liked where it, at, it was at, and it was, like, every single room or wherever you went, it was always looked like a different color blonde, and I thought it was, like, really perfect, but then a lot of people started telling me, like, it looked like I had strawberry blonde hair, and I wasn't like feeling that, so that's why I ended up getting that to get some ash in my hair. So I'm really bad at explaining things, <laughs> but um, this is just, I guess, like my little review on the Excellence Cream and how much I love it. And even if you're not going blonde, if you're doing any color and you can't get professional colors, I highly recommend this brand because of the pro carotene that protection conditioner that they give you to put in your hair is absolutely amazing how like you could put this conditioner hair and put a hair dye on and it still processes perfectly fine and you wash out your hair and you feel like you're washing conditioner out of your hair and it just left my hair in the best condition out of like any dye that I've ever used so this is like my favorite like drugstore brand so yay all right guys I'll talk to you later bye